Hi guys, my name is Manny Rital and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to talk about the five reasons why you should consider creating a YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, um, I create videos about finance, tech and engineering. Currently, I work full time in the civil engineering field and I'm also studying part time to upgrade my diploma to a degree. And uh, it's sort of a, a journey. I started this channel not too long ago and I'm planning on creating these videos and putting out more content on a more frequent basis. So at the time of this recording, I'm at about 25 subscribers. So if you want to continue on this journey with me, hit the subscribe button. And also right here, you can find my Instagram page um, and you can follow me there as well. So if you clicked on this video, you're obviously considering starting a YouTube channel or you already have a channel and haven't uploaded any videos. The five reasons I'm actually going to go over in this video have nothing to do with fame or money. And it's something that you'll understand can be translated beyond the realm of YouTube. So I'm going to start out with reason number one. The first main reason is to share your passions and expertise with the world. You might not consider yourself to be an expert, but believe it or not, if you're more than competent at whatever, whatever facet or whatever thing that might be, there is always somebody that's willing to learn from you. It's crazy. Remember, there are 7 billion people in this world and YouTube is a gigantic platform. You might not think that, you know, being one out of 7 billion plus people that you might not have something to offer to the world. But believe it or not, that if you're passionate and you're interested in something and you create a video, there's more than likely that there are at least a small or at least is a small audience or even a large audience that's willing to listen to your videos. So it's a great way of networking and it's a great way of actually connecting with other people that might have similar passions and sort of building off each other. So that's that's a really good reason. And you should seriously consider sharing your expertise with the world. The second reason to start a YouTube channel is that it builds confidence. Now, I'm going to be completely honest as a new YouTuber sitting in front of a camera and talking to a so-called audience is still a little nerve wracking, but I've noticed that just being able to open up in front of a camera makes it easier to talk to people in real life because in a way you are sort of talking to somebody is just you're you're not able to listen to them in the way back. It's it's a very weird thing. And for those of you who are camera shy, more than likely you might get a little anxious when you're either talking in front of a crowd or in social gatherings. But believe it or not, just sitting in front of a camera and recording a video and just doing it you know, a couple times a week and just consistently doing it over a long time actually reduces that anxiety. It's the craziest thing. And I definitely have experienced this phenomena and I think you probably will too. So it's another, it's another reason that people don't talk about on, uh, on most of the videos of why you should start a YouTube channel, but it helps build confidence and reduces anxiety. The truth is no one is going to hate you and no one's going to judge you when you make these videos. You might think that, oh, what are my friends or what are people going to think when they see me on camera? Like, let me tell you this, people really don't care. And I don't mean that in a, in a negative way. I mean, people don't care uh, or judge you for the work that you're putting out. As a matter of fact, people are actually naturally curious. They're going to want to see what you're passionate about and what your videos are about. So whatever idea that you might have as people might judge you or make fun of you, it's totally not the case. I've had a pretty good time so far on YouTube. I only have a couple of videos, like five or six, but so far the overwhelming response has been pretty positive. So uh, I want you to eliminate that out of your mind that people will judge you. It's just not the case. Trust me on that. Reason number three is networking. So you're going to create a, a channel and it's probably going to be focused around a couple of interests. And believe it or not, there is a community of content creators that probably have the same interests as you. And it's a great way to connect with them and build on your own ideas. It's a it's such a crazy phenomenon and we forget how large YouTube is. I mean, I think it has somewhere over a billion watchers every single day. Don't quote me on that, but it's just a vast community and chances are you're going to connect and create friends on this platform with similar interests. And I'm not just talking about business opportunities. Those will come and that'll come down the line when you're uh, a large YouTuber, but in the meantime, and I'm talking about just for, you know, uh, the, the personal side of, of it, when you meet these people and you meet these communities, it will help build on your passions. It'll help build on your content and it'll help give you ideas. You know, it's a sort of a back and forth. You give them and you take from them. And it's something that's 
that's happening with me on my channel. I look at certain content creators with the same interests as me and I get ideas from them and I create these videos. And I'm sure somewhere down the line when my channel is large enough, there will be somebody that will take ideas for me. And that's one of the great things about this platform. It's the sharing and the networking. Reason number four is that creating videos on YouTube is a catalyst into developing further skills. Consciously or subconsciously, as you create more videos, you're going to want to up your production level. And in order to do that, you got to figure out new ways and new skills to incorporate into your videos. Now, when I first started uh, creating videos, I had no idea what aperture, shutter speed, um, video settings, um, frame rate, any of that meant let alone how to edit these videos like Adobe Premiere Pro, iMovie. I had no idea about any of these things. But as I started creating these videos, I was forced to learn them and I've gotten exceptionally better compared to where I started. Relatively speaking, I've gotten much better. And you pick up on things that you didn't think you were going to pick up on. Um, so in, while I was you know, creating videos, I didn't know how important thumbnails were. So I had to focus on photography and taking pictures. So it, it like I said, it's a catalyst into learning new skills and these skills aren't just for YouTube. These skills can be transferable into other aspects of your life. Like, you know, you might just realize that you want to go into video editing after creating a few videos, like you found a new passion or just, you know, you want to become a professional filmmaker or professional photographer. That all comes once you try something new and just jumping into a channel and just creating videos and uploading them that like that, that entire process it forces you to learn these skills and you will get better at these skills as you consistently upload and create more videos and like i said these are all transferable skills into the real world and it's not just for youtube so it's, it's a it's a very good place to force yourself to learn these skills and reason number five is taking a plunge into something that you're unfamiliar with can be both terrifying but extremely exciting. Um, if, if YouTube has been a thing that's been sort of in the back of your mind, but you are sort of like giving yourself these excuses, like, Oh, I don't know, like maybe I'm just not good enough or, you know, I don't think I have the skills to do so. Just overcoming that fear and just uploading your first video is just so liberating. And once you get into the habit of, putting yourself in these uncomfortable situations, um, you're going to realize that you're going to be more of a risk taker in the real world as well. You're going to be willing to try new things. Now, personally speaking, um, I've always been the type of guy to sort of play it safe where if I didn't know how to do something or um, whatever excuses I gave myself um, about not trying something, I would always let myself or I would convince myself of not to do something. But just this hurdle of, you know, creating the very first YouTube video and just uploading it. It's, it's such a liberating feeling like I can do it. And, you know, there's no negative repercussions of this. And I realized that even in the real world, um, I'm willing to take more risks because I know that most of the time, like even 99% of the time is that the fear that we perceive is all created in our minds and it's not actual physical fear or, you know, external psychological fear it's just something we convince ourselves not to do and it, i'll be honest uh, if you're thinking of creating a youtube channel and you're thinking of uploading that video you're you're probably going through the same mindset as like oh this is so terrifying but i promise you just when you upload that first video it, it's going to be a sense of relief like oh my god you know the world didn't end um you know people aren't judging me no one's attacking me uh, well granted on <laughs> based on what kind of video you make but y you know what i'm trying to say so it's liberating, um, it's exciting, and it will get you out of your comfort zone, but it will build you up. It will build character. And you'll probably notice that once you start doing this YouTube thing consistently, that you'll probably be willing to take more risks in the real world and, you know, really explore life. Um, I'm sort of rambling at this point, but I really want to nail down this idea that this terrifying experience can really open up a door for something new in your life. So. This is probably the biggest reason, and I think this reason alone is why you should really consider starting a channel.